Secretary Castro, do you determine the number of people pouring, through, pouring into our country to be a national crisis? And what is your solution? Thank you very much for the question. I, I believe that we have a crisis of leadership. Uh, if you think about it for a second, um, when he came into office, Donald Trump said that he was going to solve this, as he put it, this immigration problem. And he's completely failed. Last month, there were 144,000 people that came to the southern border. And in our name, little children have been separated from their mothers. People right now, about 100 people, are uh, in the 100 degree heat of El Paso, Texas, underneath a bridge, being fenced in and kept like animals together without the ability to shower or to change clothes for a whole month. That is the failure that this president has been on the issue of immigration. Right? So uh, I say that you know, we've tried his cruelty and his mistakes. There's a better way to do this. And a couple of months ago, I released what I call my People First Immigration Plan that says, number one, um, that we need to treat people with compassion and with common sense instead of cruelty, that we need to, we need to put, put the uh, undocumented immigrants who are in the United States, as long as somebody hasn't committed uh, a serious crime, on a pathway to citizenship, including our dreamers, that we need to invest in an immigration judiciary that is independent and has enough judges and support staff to actually go through all of the claims for asylum so that people are not waiting in limbo years upon years. I mean, people are out there in the country just waiting. Right? We can do a better job than that. And maybe most importantly, we actually need to get to the root cause of this issue. And the root cause of this issue is that in places like Honduras, like Guatemala, like El Salvador, that people can't find safety or opportunity there in their home country. And so that's why a mother would bring her six-month-old infant more than a 1,000 miles on a dangerous journey to the southern border of the United States without any guarantee of getting in because they're so desperate. It's so dangerous. So I've called for the equivalent of a 21st century Marshall Plan based on mutual respect and working together with these countries and with Mexico so that people can find that safety and opportunity there, and 144,000 people don't have to come to this southern border to try to find it here. I believe that's a smarter, more effective, and more humane way to approach immigration than the way we've done it. And let me just you know, finish this answer by saying that um, some people asked me, well, you know, why in the world was this the first policy proposal that you made? Um, and this is an issue that's personal to me. Uh, I grew up with a grandmother who came over here from the United States when she was seven years old from Mexico with her little sister. And they came because their parents had died. Uh, and she ended up on the west side of San Antonio. She raised my mom as a single parent. Right? She was basically like a second mother to me. She came here like I bet a lot of your parents and grandparents did, or maybe some of you have, with hardly anything. And this country provided her the opportunity to work hard, to provide for her daughter, to see her daughter be the first to graduate from high school and then go on to college. And then just two generations after she got to the United States, you know, one of her grandsons, my twin brother, Joaquin, is a United States congressman, and the other one is running for president of the United States. That is America. That is what we can do. Thank you for the question.